In your national headlines now, the Libyan man accused of creating the bomb that destroyed Pan Am Flight 103 over Lockerbie, Scotland in 1988 is now in U.S. custody. 270 people were killed on the plane and on the ground. Among them were students from Syracuse University, SUNY Oswego, Colgate, and a couple from the town of Clay. Skylar Henry has the latest from D.C. 34 years after a terrorist bomb brought down Pan Am Flight 103 over Lockerbie, Scotland, a suspect will face justice in the United States. The attack killed 270 people, including 190 Americans. The accused bomb maker, Abu Aguila Mohammed Massoud, is expected to make his first court appearance later today. Four days before Christmas in 1988, a bomb ripped through the luggage hold an hour into the flight from London to New York's JFK airport. The blast was so powerful, the crime scene spanned more than 840 square miles. Investigators pieced together fragments of the jet, leading to parts of a cassette recorder packed with explosives. The Justice Department announced charges against Masood two years ago and promised the pursuit form would never end. I did have a lot of faith in them that this day would come. Kara Weeps lost her brother, Rick Minetti. He was one of 35 Syracuse University students killed on the flight. He looked at the day that he was coming home as, you know, what a great day that was going to be. And that part always gets me. Masood is the third Libyan charged in connection with the attack, but he'll be the first to stand trial in an American court. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Washington.